Star projectors Pray into the ceiling God can help us Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. Welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Alicia. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you so much. Without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Hey, family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys see this, this is because you guys know I got stung by that wasp. So I'm just trying to, like, keep it covered. It's been, like, pussing out, swelling, itching, it's burning, it's still stinging. And I don't really know what to do with this right now, right? So I'm just kind of trying to keep it clean and keep it treated for now but you guys let me know if you know what to do i'm just trusting god i'm not about to let the devil steal my joy today so i'm so excited to be here with you guys today for us to be able to come together and fellowship as a community let me just take a second and thank my moderating sisters i love and appreciate you guys so much to everybody who has been so into god's vision here on the channel i love you guys so much so let's just take a second and greet one another you guys know what we do we are a family we are a tribe here check in sis i'm present i'm present for class i'm ready for the word today Hold on, let me get my Bible, y'all. Get your Bibles. Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible, sis, so you know it's real. So before we dive into this word, family, let's just take a second and pray because you guys know that we do nothing here without God. So dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you and praise you. I want to thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Lord. I want to thank you for everything it is that you do for us, Lord. I ask that you lead and guide this video today, family. Whatever it is that you want me to speak to your people, use me today, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Comment down below, amen, so I know it's real. Okay, family. So God told me to title this message today, They Don't Love You. Glory be to God. So I believe this word is for somebody who has been trusting somebody to love them, right? Glory be to God. And it's because their role in your life requires them to do so. Glory be to God. I catch this message in the spirit and so god is like if that's your mother then they should love you right if that's your brother if that's your sister then they should love you if that's your spouse that's your husband that's your wife that's your mate they should love you and so this is the season where god is like you know what time's up for saying that you love somebody and not showing them right because love is an action word love means laying down your life for someone else right love should be aligned with the truth of god see what god is saying today is that the love that you are giving and receiving should be an imitation of god's love the bible tells us that of the greatest of god's gifts faith hope and love Love is the greatest of them all. Oh my gosh, I'm just coming over here. I rebuked it. <laughs> it was it looked like a wasp. Listen, I'm about to put that blood six feet under. And see, God was enlightening me on the fact that you can't say that you love God if you're not loving your neighbors, right? You're not loving your brothers and sisters. You're not even loving the people that's around you all day, every day, right? How are you going to say that you love God and you're not demonstrating God's love? In the Bible, God gives us two commandments. That you should love God with all of your heart and that you should love your brothers and sisters. You should love your neighbors as you would love yourself. So I want you guys to just sit here for a second and think about the love that you've been receiving. So if this is your word today, God is saying Stop letting people tell you that they love you and you know that they don't love you. And so look them right in the face and say, don't tell me that. Love is an action word. I need to feel that. So if this is your word today, comment down below. I'm not feeling it. And God is like, you got to watch the people in your life that overly uses the word love. Oh, I love you. 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 Yeah, but let me feel it. And you got to watch the people that strategically uses the word love when you feel the most unloved that you can actually possibly feel. That's that. You know I love you. 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 Somebody comment down below. Don't love me. I don't want it. And God is like, you know what? This is the season where you can no longer just accept anything that's expressed to you. God sent me here to tell you today that they don't love you. And you know what? You can't expect someone to provide something for you that they refuse to provide for themselves. And so what God is saying today is that stop playing the fool, right? Look at these people fruits. This was supposed to be your best friend, right? And, and you notice that this best friend of yours has previous fallouts with other best friends about men or about money. Listen, focus on that fruit. If this guy or this girl, this person is trying to pursue you and you see them with multiple guys or multiple girls, take heed of that fruit i feel led to say listen to what these people are saying to you because god is allowing them to reveal themselves and the thing about it is y'all they think they so low right they think they should just be so sneaky they don't know you already caught that thing in the spirit somebody comment down below you played yourself if this is your word today god will begin to reveal the biggest secret yet listen to me see you think that they don't love you based off of your feelings right based off of what it is that you see what it is that you feel what it is that you know already but god is like it's what you don't know that's why i'm about to bring this thing down 
And you don't need to do nothing but sit back and relax and allow God to do his work. Because God is saying today that they've been putting their mouth on God's child. And he don't like that. And God is like, that fire that I'm about to bring is for the conversations that you wasn't aware of. Listen, it's something that has been said that can't be swept under the rug anymore. There is something that has been done that has not been revealed to you yet. But mark my words, baby. Don't worry about it. Glory be to God because God was already preparing you for this. So what would normally feel like a steak knife to your heart, glory be to God, it's just going to feel like a little pinch. It's going to be something that you know should hurt you so bad. But all you're going to feel is a little pinch. Glory be to God. God going to take that pain out, right? God going to take the sting out for you. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below, just a pinch. Glory be to God. It's going to feel like you got your ears pierced. Pop. It's just a little pop. Because God is saying today, I have built you for this. You are a diamond, baby. They can't break you. You are built for it. Tough. Listen to me. They're going to have to come harder than that. And see, God is saying that a lot of people that you thought was coming with you, where God is taking you, they can't come. They are not who you think they are. Glory be to God. That should really be the title of this message. And a lot of you guys are really about to celebrate once God removes these people out of your life. And the way God showed it to me, it's like the, the freedom of the mental confliction, the mind games. Somebody comment down below the mind games, trying to figure out if this person is for you or against you. Glory be to God. And God is like, it's been too heavy for you to bear. And I feel led to say, you gave these people the opportunity to decide where they stood at, right? Were they for you or were they against you? And now God is taking an opportunity off the table because I just kept seeing a pulling down, right? Glory be to God. So God led me to write a couple scriptures down and, and I want to read it with you guys okay come on we got to read this together as a family and y'all in my book today and that's fine because we family first Corinthians 13 4 through 5 love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs family proverbs 10 12 hatred stirs up conflict but love covers over all wrongs holy spirit just said alicia pause pause right in that moment right this is the love that you should be feeling this is the love that you should be experiencing it should be patient and it should be kind it should be soft you should be feeling that right there should be no envy in that love there should be no dissing no slick shots it should not be easily angered watch the people that's always so short with you and it keeps no records of wrongs listen to me I love that Proverbs tells us that hatred steers up conflict. Glory be to God. Watch those people that get so mad and they say that they hate you. Glory be to God. This is why you be experiencing so much conflict with this person. Glory be to God. Because it's not love, it's hate. Romans 12, 9. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. And see, that's how you know that love is real. Glory be to God. It's going to be sincere, right? It's going to be a sincere relationship. It's going to be a, a sincere friendship. That's something you can't fake. And so when you hate what's evil, you do the right thing, right? You're not going to lie. You're not going to steal from this person. You're not going to cheat on this person. You're not going to do all these different things because that doesn't demonstrate love. Ooh, Jesus. You want to cling to what's good. You want to do all of these great things for somebody that you say that you love because you love them. Ephesians 4, 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bearing with one another in love. Glory be to God. And God bless this word today. Is this your word? Comment down below. Says this is my word. I woke up this morning with this message heavy on my spirit like glory be to God so if this is your word today you got to start to do what's best for you glory be to God this is not the season for you to keep allowing people to say I love you and you don't feel it glory be to God you need to feel that they need to express that not with words glory be to God but with their actions this is what God is saying today I love you guys so much I'm praying for you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video out with all that God leads you to if you have not gotten your holy anointed oils yet go over and get it guys go over and check out the reviews the reviews is amazing i love you guys so much i love when y'all post a picture right all in your house and y'all just showing how anointing everything is and everybody's gonna post the pictures showing themselves with the oil it's nice to see you guys it's hard to see you guys on youtube from the default pics they're so small so it's always nice to see you guys so everybody is so into guys vision here on the channel thank you so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye angels Mwah.